if you wait till you're good before you start, you ain't ever start nothing. Like you have to suck at something. <laughs> and you have to get over the fact that you suck or you'll never learn anything new. And so, so I think part of, this, this happens with believers a lot, but, but we, we wanna come out the gate good instead of coming out of the gate with God. We wanna come out the gate with our good instead of coming out of the gate with our God. Revelation, amen. And those of you that have your Bible, I want you to go to Ruth chapter one. starting to realize is trauma can have an influence on how you behave how you move in, in certain areas of your life how you communicate with certain people just how you are it takes a very strong individual to decide okay I'm going to go get the help I'm going to seek God's guidance I'm going to seek God pray 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 more and just be with him more so I am able to heal from that trauma that I experienced in the past or that I have recently experienced or that I'm experiencing at this current moment. And it takes a strong person to be able to, okay, I'm about to attack this head on because I don't want it to be a detriment to my future. I don't want it to prevent me from my success. I don't want it to prevent me from reaching my full potential. God has something for all of us. God is waiting to give us that ultimate blessing that we've been waiting for, that ultimate career that we, we, we've been waiting for, that purpose that we've been waiting for. He is waiting for you to step into what he has for you. What it's gonna take is for your heart to change. It's gonna take for you to realize what you need to work on internally. And he's not gonna give you what he has for you until you are prepared to take that thing that he has for you. I encourage anybody that is like, man, I wish I could just grab, I know what God has for me. He showed me what he has for me, but he's not giving it to me yet. Maybe you should backpedal and look internally and look, okay, what are, what are the things that I need to work on? What are the things that God is trying to do in me to get me to that point to where I am able to receive what he has for me. Dear Heavenly Father, it's going to take a supernatural push from you to get us all to realize that we must change our heart before we are able to receive the blessing that you have for us. The blessing that you have for us is something that we've been waiting for for a very long time and that we are willing to do whatever it takes to get that blessing that you have for us. God, I ask that you show us what we need to work on internally so we are able to walk towards you, towards what you have for us, towards what you want for us, towards the purpose that you have for us. And God, please, if anyone is dealing with any anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, or anything that is controlling their mind, the battle of their mind, the war on their mind, Lord God, 
ask that you get rid of that and show them that you are God, that you are all they need. In Jesus' name, amen.